In Python, if you've seen a data class, you'll know that it's a nice, simple, straightforward way to make a simple class. However, if you want a way to make a really simple class without any methods, you can use something called a named tuple and do it in one convenient line. So named tuple has been imported from collections. The first thing I'm going to do is define a variable. This is going to be a person. I'm going to do person with a capital P like this for now. And I can then say this is going to be a named tuple. And I need to match this in here. So I can take person, put this in here. Up next, we can then do a list, and this list is going to be the attributes that a person's going to have. So in this case, we'll keep it simple and just say name and age. Now let's create a simple instance. So I'll say P, you are equal to a person here. And we can see, just like a data class or a class, it's asking me for name and age. Of course, when these aren't entered, it's going to complain in the usual way that a class would. So let's go ahead and try a name as James. Let's say age is going to be equal to 99. This time it works absolutely fine, no problem. Let's go ahead and print P. And we can see, just like a data class, the named tuple gives you a nice way to print straight out of the box. You can also access the attributes just like a normal class. So we could say p.name here and we should get James. One thing that's worth noting, just like how a normal tuple is immutable, the same is actually true for these as well. So if I were to go ahead and say, just for example, name is equal to one, two, three, hitting run, we see attribute error, can't set attribute. So these are immutable, just like regular tuples. So if you want a nice, simple, straightforward way to make an immutable class, especially without needing any methods, rather than using a data class, a named tuple might be a viable alternative. Feel free to leave us a comment if you've played with these before. And of course, if you can think of any specific use cases, I'd love to hear them as well.